G'day guys, it's Keegan here from Greenhouse IT with another e-commerce academy video. Uh, in this video I'm going to give you a quick crash course in one of my favourite features of CS Cart, which is the uh, reward point feature, which allows you to create a, uh, a kind of loyalty program for your customers. And this is good for a number of different reasons. Not only uh, can you use a loyalty program to obviously drive sales, but it's also great for a marketing platform because um, customers actually have to register on your website to use the loyalty program. So therefore, in exchange for getting those reward points from you, they are providing you with their details so you can figure out where they live and uh, you know get market research that way, as well as their email addresses so you can uh, send them marketing and that kind of stuff if you want to. So uh, that's, it's a great way to drive registrations on your website as well as drive sales. And I've had a few questions uh, from instant e-commerce customers recently about how to use the reward point um, feature. So I thought I'd do a quick uh, video for you to show you, first of all, how to set it up and a couple of quick examples about cool ways to use it. So uh, here we are in our demo store. You've opened up your uh, administration panel. First thing you want to do is make sure the add-on, which is the reward points add-on, is activated. By default, um, we've got all these add-ons. So if we click on administration and add-ons, all these add-ons come installed by as standard with all instant e-commerce plans. Uh, however, the reward point add-on is uh, disabled by default. So you come down to reward points and just flick it over to active. I've already activated it in this example. Uh, before we go any further, next thing we want to do is click edit right here. And um, we'll quickly just take a few minutes to look over this reward points um, options window. These, uh, basically it's, it's fairly safe to leave these all set as standard. You can read through them. You should probably um, check through them to make sure that you're happy with all these settings. But this is the important one up here. This is the exchange rate for your reward point system. So this is how many uh, points are equal to one conventional unit of currency. So whatever your primary currency is on your website, maybe you've got multiple currencies, it'll just be the primary one. If you've only got one currency, then that's what it's gonna be. Um, for most people who sell just in Australia, their primary currency is the Australian dollar. So basically this is saying, uh, whatever you set here as the exchange rate, this is how many points are equal to one unit of your standard currency. Uh, I'm going to set it to 10, that's my personal favourite. So in this example we've got 10 points are uh, equivalent to one Australian dollar. So then I'm going to go ahead and click save. And that's all good. Okay, the next thing we want to do is I'm actually going to create a user group for um, our rewards club. So we head over to users, head over to user groups. You might already have one set up you want to use. You can skip this step if that's the case. Uh, or you might just want to let anyone access uh, your reward points. I think this is pretty cool. Personally, I like to create a user group for it because I think that makes customers feel a little bit more exclusive and a little bit cooler if they're part of a, a club, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and call this Rewards Club and click Create. That's all you got to do there. Okay, so now we're ready to go. We've got our Rewards Club user group set up. Uh, next thing we want to do is hit the Catalog tab and go over to Reward Points. You'll see this is a new option now that we've activated the add-on. Uh, this is where you tell CSCart how many points your customers are going to earn when they spend money on your store. And you can see here it's broken up into your user groups. Uh, you can do this however you want, but I'm going to leave all these except set to zero except for Rewards Club. So only people in the Rewards Club user group can earn points. Um, and you can set this to anything you want, but I'm going to set it to 100%. Which essentially means that if uh, someone comes along and spends 100 bucks in your store, they're going to get 100 reward points. Uh, which isn't to say that's equivalent to $100 because remember we've set the exchange rate in this example to uh, 10 points uh, per Australian dollar. So essentially with this scenario, uh, the customer is getting back 10% of what they spend on your store. But you can set this up any way you want to. Uh, and a cool, cool idea is to use this system to drive promotions. So you might have like a promotion, uh, you know, spend money in, in store this weekend and get uh, double reward points or something like that, or this month only get extra reward points, something like that. So it's a cool thing to keep in mind. So go ahead and click save. And now we're ready to go. Uh, the next thing you want to do though is you want to uh, actually enable your products to be purchased by reward points. So uh, how we've got it set up at the moment, customers can uh, join your rewards club, they can earn points by spending money on the store, but they can't redeem those points for anything yet. Uh, if you've already got products added, you want to go into those products and then tell CSCart which ones customers can uh, buy with points and which ones they can't. By default, they can't buy anything with points. So uh, let's let's go into the HTC Desire phone here, and we'll uh, make this one purchasable with reward points. So we go into the product options. You can see we've now got a reward points uh, option in the menu here. So we'll go over there. 
Um, I've already set this to active, but uh, in most cases and for most products, you'll have to actually check this box. This is allow payment by points, which means that this product can now be purchased by points. Uh, if you want to uh, change the exchange rate for this particular product, you can override the exchange rate and put the new one in there. And uh, the, one, the options we just set up in points earned per product, you can override that as well if you want to. So you might have this particular product, you earn double reward points for this weekend, something like that, a cool promotion idea if you want to. Gonna leave all these as default, not override anything, but just set allow payment by points. So then I'm gonna click save and close. And uh, now to demonstrate this example, I'm gonna actually uh, dish out some reward points to someone. Let's give some reward points to myself. Uh, so I'm gonna go over to users. I'm gonna go into uh, administrators because I'm logged in as the standard administrator. There I am. Okay, so I'm gonna go to edit. And uh, up here, under my name, which is admin admin, I'm gonna click on view user points. So this is where you can actually add or subtract manually uh, reward points to your customers. Click add subtract points. I'm going to give myself, uh, let's say, 250 points, which remember we equates to $25. Uncheck that, click change. There we go, so I've just given myself 250 points. Now I'm going to head over to the storefront and uh, start spending to demonstrate how it looks to the customer. So you can see I've already logged in uh, into the storefront, so I'm logged in there. And remember that I can't spend my reward points on just anything, only the products that are activated. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to go and uh, go ahead and to go into my mobile phones category here. Some demo products on this store. I'm going to buy. Uh, I'm going to be a big spender. I'm going to buy an iPhone 4 and a HTC Desire. So I'm going to add that to my cart, and I'm going to add the HTC Desire to my cart as well. So continue shopping. And then I'm going to cruise on over to my shopping cart. There we go. Two items in the shopping cart. We've got a HTC Desire valued at $529 and an iPhone 4 valued at $859. Now, because I have points in the bank, as it were, you can see down here I've got this uh, new point payment option. Uh, this is where the customers can actually allocate the points on their account to uh, to to their purchases. Uh, I've got 500 points in my account, which is worth 50 bucks to me. And uh, the number of points it says here that, you can, that can be applied to the order is 5,290. Now, what you'll notice is that 5,290 uh, makes up the value of just one of these products. Because the iPhone 4, I haven't set that to be able to be purchased by points. So the iPhone 4, if I was just buying the iPhone 4, I couldn't use any points because I haven't activated this to be able to be purchased by points. So I can only uh, make up for the HTC desires portion of the order total with my points. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add all my points to this purchase so the customer can type in 500. I'm gonna dish them all out and click apply. They can you know, spend their points bit by bit. And there we go, so now you see down here, points in use, 500 points, it's added um, $50, so it takes $50 off the subtotal. And then you can check out and pay the rest by cash or however they want to pay. So it's as easy as that, and it's a really, really cool system, so you can get pretty creative with it. Like I said, great idea for promote promotions this weekend, earn double reward points on a certain category. However you want to do it, get creative, and uh, it's a really good way to drive sales. As always, if you want any other tips about the rewards uh, rewards feature, head over to the ecommerceacademy.net.au website. And if you want more help, uh, give us a call, 1300 255 515, or email support at greenhouseit.com.au.